Let's play! Yeah. I like to spin it while I'm not doing anything. Just little thing I yes. do. I can't jump, Norris looks so out of place! And so we get a good, that's plus one point. Um, points are like this, basically, if you get good, you get one, if you get, like, really good, then you get two, but if you do it perfectly, you get four. So, in all honesty, getting, a uh, like, a perfect score is nigh and impossible in every event. Um, I mean, like, getting it perfect the whole time. You only need a certain number of points to, uh, win the turn, win the whole opening ceremony thing. Um, what am I talking about? I don't know. Just... Win the events. It's it's a high score sort of thing. Okay, so now what we want to do is alpine skiing downhill. Downhill. And this is just um, it's like real skiing. You hold it at your sides and you turn. And this this is the most responsive event there is. It is perfect almost. Like it's just really good the controls. As you can probably see, I'm wearing a. Mario shirt, but Mario's a cow, that's hence Moo Rio. Uh -huh. You know, just kind of getting a shirt to be in the mood, sort of. This is in Whistler, BC. It's a very nice place I've been there. Because I'm in Alberta, so they're just our next door neighbors. And basically, what you want to do is you want to get the flags. And to do that, you just do the three, two, one, go. Then you just lean back and forth. It's relatively easy, um, actually no, this is probably the easiest event in my opinion. Um, the controls are so really good. You can lift to break, and uh, or I'm not sure how you, I'm not sure, you don't need to break. It's like, it's like in Mario Kart, why did they teach you how to break? You don't need to break. So get through ten or more gates. Also, every character has a special ability which can be done by pressing A. This is best saved for when your character uh, hits something or, uh, or you know, gets slowed down because basically what happens is it's an instant boot burst of speed um, which will automatically take you to your top speed uh, unless you're already at your top speed when you'll exceed it for a couple seconds. Um, I'll show you it right now. Sonic goes into a little ball, Mario does a spin from Mario Galaxy, um, Shadow uses chaos control, stuff like that. They all basically make sense for the characters, except for Vectors. Vector like swims through midair, which I guess makes sense considering he had that ability in Knuckles Chaotix to swim through midair. But it's kind of out of place to see a crocodile swimming through midair while skiing down Whistler with anthropomorphic hedgehogs and overweight flat fat plumbers and giant green turtles and yes. you know stuff like that. This game is just a huge big lipped alligator moment, but whatever. So we get a nice, which is two points. We would have got a perfect if we got that one, but you know what? I'm not gonna get perfects. This isn't like a total 100% playthrough because I can't do that. Clear. Now we have day three. Scratch my neck. I'm gonna itch on my neck. Good morning, Team Hedgehog Norris. Did you get lots of sleep last night? Not really. It looks like there are a few clouds in the sky. There's training scheduled today for one dream event. Dream events are events that take place in either Mario or Sonic's universe. Um, they're really out of place. They have items. They're more party games. But before we do that, let's do Short, short Track, track because that one's pretty fun. I actually like Short Track. It's, um, it's like... When you first start off, you suck at this, but when you actually start doing it, it gets pretty easy. You only want your remote for it, because the nunchuck really gets in the way. Um, basically, it's get around the track as quick as possible. To do that, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get in time with the rhythm by going like this. And when you want to turn, just hold it one direction. Um, it's pretty easy. I'll show you my ultimate. I might as well show their intros. The and they still have their, um, old four kids' voices, which I like their four kids' voices. Um, their new voices I like too, except for Shadows. He sounds really gay, but, you know. Gay. 
Now you want to shake as fast as you can. Now, again, this looks pretty phallic, but just ignore that. Um, you want to quickly shake it to build speed, and then just tilt it to turn corners. Don't do too much, though, because uh, you'll crash, I think. I'm not sure. Then on straightaways, you want to shake. You want to try to stay in the green. Uh, don't, don't, don't go too much, though, because otherwise you'll get that little hand that's more annoying than anything. Okay, basically you have to collect coins. Um, just pretty easy. You do have your, um, special here, which is, uh, pretty useful. Come on, come on, come on! Oh jeez. Yeah! Thank you, Silver, for collecting that. Yes! Training completed! There, we got a great, which is plus four points, which will be very helpful. Considering I'm probably gonna fail a bunch of events a bunch of times, but just stop being so pessimistic. That was really good. I should not do that. Uh, with results like that, you should do fine. One more match to go. Here we have Dream Bobsled. If you thought Bobsled was fun the first time, just wait. And by fun, I mean grindingly painful. Now, I've actually beaten the game, and once you beat the game, you have the ability to buy music, right? And the music you can buy can actually be um, used in events. Um, so if you see at the bottom there, it says Dream Bobsled Stage 1. I also have Purple Comet, which is an awesome song, Wind Garden, Rooftop Run, Sonic Hero Theme, City Escape, Metal Harbor, all amazing songs, right? I didn't really buy the ones I didn't like that much, but we're just going to keep the original song for now. Other events, I will probably change it. Um, you can buy other music. I only bought the ones that I really love. I mean, come on, Purple Coins, Rooftop Run, they really picked the best music for this game. Like, they, pick, they, they picked out the best one. And we're at Nocturnus Gate, which is quite cool because this is from Sonic Chronicles. And Sonic Chronicles was made here in my hometown of Edmonton, which is awesome. Now, if you see we're the only team here, it doesn't really make a difference because you're the only one controlling it. The only difference it would make is if you're in two-player mode, in which both people have to be in sync. And that's just more annoying than anything. So, let's get started. Basically, it is a race. And you can hit opponents, which is pretty crazy. Um, collecting these will allow your speed to go up. The more you collect, the more speed it can go up. not want to hit the bombs. Those are, uh, not very good. Speed boosts are good. I, I know it shows, like, an actual path that you're taking, but really, this, this isn't really a path as much as it is just going around in loops, but whatever. It's Sonic. Let's not question it, you know? Again, I've done the whole anthropomorphic hedgehogs and crocodiles swimming through midair thing. Yeah, no, Canada doesn't have stuff like this. I should really stop with Canada jokes, because Canada is just... It's America. Like, it's America's little brother. Like, if the, if, if the older brother does drugs, then that's probably the best sort of thing you could probably imagine. It's like, the innocent younger brother. Then, at the last part, you just want to shake as fast as you can, and we're done! We got first. Um, holy crap, we got a new record. Hmm. Don't blame your own poor performance on my teammate. <laughs> 